everybody, it's Bunny, and today is a video that I am so extremely excited for. And as always these days, I'm like, should I put this on the second channel? Should I put this on the main channel? But I'm so excited for it that I'm gonna bring it here to the main channel where we can all be sassy at once. Sassy, 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 so sassy, sassy, sassy. I love my bun today. Also, I'm trying this really cool new look today called Just Stopping at Eyeshadow. I've only done my makeup up to this point and I'm kind of taking a little dinner break. Why am I doing this with my face? That's what we're doing today, folks. We are opening cans. We have done a lot of mystery stuff on this channel over the years, but we have never had mystery cans. I can't even put it into words how excited I am to open up these mystery cans today. I love Andy Warhol. I don't know why I'm suddenly channeling myself from 10 years ago. I've always had a love for Andy Warhol, but it's kind of like waxed and waned over the years. But now it's like, oh, like I am all about it. Andy Warhol, everything, show me where it is. If you guys have been here for a while, you might have remembered, I think it was last year, we unboxed the Andy Warhol Mystery Dunnies. If you love Andy Warhol and you haven't seen that video yet, you might want to check it out. But now, this year, they really kicked it up about 20 notches and they came out with mystery cans that are all Andy Warhol themed. And I think some of these contain mystery plushes and some of them contain mystery figurines. I think that there is 24 cans in here not for consumption. I love that. Before I even opened it to show you guys the cans, I wanted to show you guys this box because once you open it, you can't unopen it. I really thought this was going to be very easy. It's not. 24, 14 and a half ounce cans. But it doesn't matter how many ounces because there's nothing edible in these cans. <laughs> Through a ton of perseveration. Perseveration? Is that a word? We've got cans. So many cans. They look just like the infamous Andy Warhol Campbell soup cans. And I could not be more excited. I love the blue and teal. It's wonderful. This is going to be like a different gratifying kind of sound. Let's pop open that first can. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh. The very first one is... A plush soup can. Get on out of there. Don't be shy. It is on kind of like a keychain type thing. It's like a stretchy bungee cord almost. Another great idea for these would be like Christmas ornaments. <gasps> the other cool thing about these being cans is I can see you being able to recycle these in a lot of different ways. You could put makeup brushes in them, pens and pencils, scissors, um, anything that would fit in a can basically. Let's open up another can. Oh my gosh, it's another plush. So the soup can is two out of every 24, and now we have a little plush robot, and he is also two out of every 24. Look at that. He's a cutie little cute, cute. Ooh, look at that. It looks like we got one of the vinyl options, and it comes wrapped as well as in the can. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is like perfect for my life because it is a little camcorder. This is two out of every 24 and I feel like it is so cute. Look at that. It even looks like it has like a lens. There's like a clear piece of plastic in there. These are really, really detailed. I feel like the cans though by far have been the easiest to open ever. Oh, I know what this is just by feeling it and I'm so excited. Honestly, Velvet Underground is one of my favorite bands of all time. I pretty much know every word <laughs> to every song and I can feel in the bag that we're gonna get a banana and you guys, this is like really realistic. Are y'all seeing this? It looks just like the banana on the Velvet Underground album and it also just peculiar, peculiarly. It looks kind of realistic, right? This is my favorite so far, vinyl banana, two out of every 24. Can number five. We got a repeat robot. Ooh. Oh my gosh, we've encountered another repeat. It is another 
plushy can. Can number seven. Can't be a repeat, right? Seven is like a cosmically lucky number. Oh, it's another vinyl. Yes, it is. It's another repeat. Why is row two all repeats, you guys? All right, can number eight. It's gonna be great. It's something that's a little bit the same, but also different. Is there such a thing as canned bananas. I feel like they make canned everything, like foods that should not be canned. I have seen canned before, but I don't know that I've ever seen canned bananas. But now we have some nice. I keep fighting the urge to tap on the top of the can. Does anybody else do that whenever they open any kind of canned anything? Wake up in there, I'm about to open you. Ooh, it's another vinyl. Better not be a repeat. It's a can. We have a we have a can of tomato soup. It is a little vinyl can and it looks amazing. I don't know why I'm so fascinated with this stuff that kind of looks like normal stuff, but it's vinyl. And there is a lot of stuff on the back of these cans that's written. It's a lot like what the actual exterior can says. There's display ideas, and then there's like directions on how to open them, collect them all, really cute little stuff. I mean, definitely, I feel like this is for the hardcore Andy fans. There's one in every family. Ooh, another vinyl. Have I said that every single time we encounter a vinyl? I'm like, ooh, another vinyl. Oh my gosh, you guys, we really lucked out. This is one of the more rare ones. Three out of every 48. It is the actual Andy himself. He is really cute. You can move his arms and probably make him hold little props and objects if you have stuff from other action figures or whatever. Love the silver hair. Love the striped shirts. Ooh, another vinyl. Oh my gosh. I have to say, I wish this was a keychain. How flippity dipping cute is this. It is a little camera. Once again, love the lens detail and black and silver. It just looks so cool. Like I cannot wait to set these on shelves. Time to open another can. Um, another vinyl. Oh, yay. Oh, I felt it and I thought it was another camera right away and I was like, how? How can it be? But we actually got the vinyl that I was most curious about. I have always loved this piece of work with the cow or the bull. Is it bulls have horns, cows don't? This is an amazing vinyl. And I was like, oh, how are they gonna do these kind of like artwork pieces? It pops out like a little easel so that you can just set it on a shelf. <laughs> it definitely has to sit somewhere very still uh, not in motion, but it will sit up on a shelf or something on the easel back. I really probably didn't need to give you 15 minutes of explanation to tell you how an easel works. Oh look, it's another vinyl. Just wait for me to say that. Ooh, okay, it feels like a can. There are two different vinyl colorways for the cans though, so hopefully we will get a different color, which would be magical. Yes! Ooh, look at this one. This has some very nice like maroon tones to it. Do you guys remember years ago when everybody was all about ox blood? What is this year's color of the year? It must have been a really boring color that I didn't care about like periwinkle blue or something. This one is two out of every 24 so we might see it again and this one was only one out of every 24. We got another vinyl and it's a can. I can feel that it's a can. So we know that it's probably going to be the repeat colorway and it is. Can. Oh my gosh. I wish for a plush and I got another plush banana. Can it be not a repeat? Thanks. Oh, another vinyl. It's another banana? Oh look, another vinyl. Is it the one that I was really hoping we'd get next? What is this? Oh, it is. I'm so excited. Look at that. It is actually the vinyl balloons. And I will tell you guys, anytime I see any of this silver stuff, I have always wanted to wrap a bathroom at least or some room completely in tin foil to do that thing. That thing that Andy Warhol did where he wrapped everything. I think I think he did wrap it in, in tin foil. Everything was silver all in the studio and it looked extremely magical. So this one does 
have some assembly required. You get all these teeny tiny little plastic things and each of the pillows has a spot for these pegs and you kind of have to put them together in the correct order because some pillows have two pronged areas. The top one obviously only has one. This is quite a bit of a challenge. I just now noticed each of these little clear things is like a puzzle piece and each of these grooves on the little vinyl balloons is cut in that exact same pattern. So you really have to look at each one to figure out what connects to what. I just gave that to Dogman in the other room to put together. I feel like I just wanna see what's in the rest of the cans and it's literally like just a 15 minute struggle that I'm almost too embarrassed to admit. Every time I open these cans, they have a very interesting smell to them. I enjoy it. It is a little bit of that kind of vinyl smell. If you unbox these, you know what I'm talking about, but it's like almost a little bit different. Oh my gosh. No way. This is so awesome. This is the Maryland canvas. And when I saw it on the can, I did not understand how it was gonna look. I feel like this is like an extreme Easter egg. So I saw that there were gonna be Maryland canvases in here. They're two out of every 24, but on the can, they show four different canvases. And so I didn't quite understand how this was gonna work. I didn't know if you would get all four in one can, but you only get one, which is really cool in my opinion, because then it kind of opens up all of these possibilities for um, tons of other not repeats. Do you know what I mean? Because we could open up three other cans and then we would have the whole set and be able to do like a little quad layout, which would be so cute. Hopefully we get at least one other Maryland canvas because that would be cool to at least have two. Ooh, what is this? This one is so neat. It is the money symbol. Not as much assembly required with this one. Uh, shades of teal, blue, red, and it just looks so cool. If I could own any piece of Andy Warhol art, I would definitely own one of his pop renditions of Mick Jagger, because that just combines two things that I've always loved. Oh my gosh, I'm scared this one's a repeat, is it? It is, we just got the money symbol once again. Now we got another plush can. This one does not want to get out of here. The little loop is not on the top, so it's like I'm never coming out. This one, ooh, ooh, we've got the art assembled. Thank you. Are you just a mystery hand? <laughs> here they are in all of their glory. It just looks so cool. Especially I feel like from far away, it really does just look like miniature little mylar balloons. I love this colorway. It's kind of like almost a dark hunter green. Ooh. <gasps> Say it ain't so. Is this another repeat? I don't want to see it. Oh my gosh, it is. How crazy. You guys, whoa. He came out of this can a little funky. I'm kind of shocked that we got two of these, honestly, because, well, he's three out of every 48. But still, I would think he's kind of like so rare that maybe we would get some more two out of 24 or or something else, I don't know. Only two cans left. I cannot believe this glorious experience has already come in. Ooh, what is that? It is a plush TV. Look at how funny this is. It's like definitely an old fashioned TV like before we had flat screens. Let me puff it up a little bit because it was, it was a little squished on one side. But look at how cute that that is. I don't even remember what this message is called. I don't think you ever really see that anymore. I think it was like if, if things were going off air, which doesn't even exist anymore. I remember when I was little, there was a time when like the stations would just go off air. Like before there was like 24 hour news networks and all of that jazz, like content would just be over for the day and they would always like play the national anthem and then it would go to some sort of screen. And I think sometimes you got this screen, sometimes you got like ants, 
like static does that even happen anymore i feel like suddenly we live in a in a different time last can at this point we could get another marilyn which is kind of what i'm hoping for or we could get this plush flower which is only one out of every 48 so that's the really rare one if we got that one we would be lucky but we got another vinyl it does feel like another marilyn hopefully it will be a different colorway ah it is oh my gosh I thought it was like blue and orange, but it's kind of more green and red and yellow. These look so awesome, seriously. I kind of want to go out there and buy more cans just for the chance of getting the other two canvases. So it looks like we are missing a canvas with a pink background and a canvas with a blue background. I can't wait to hear what y'all are going to think of these in the comments. I definitely think these have been some of the most exciting, if not, the most exciting vinyl that we have ever opened. They are just so crazy different and so crazy unique. And I don't know, I really do hope that they do a series two of these. Like I said on Snapchat or Insta Story, I can't remember where I posted it the other day. They did come out with a series two of the Andy Warhol Dunnies. There are tons of different options for these. So I definitely want to open these very, very soon but I might open them on my second channel. I don't want to do like too many unboxings on this channel again. I feel like I kind of got into that a year or so ago and I'm really excited about these. I don't know. I love these, uh, but I definitely don't want to just bombard you guys on this channel with unboxings. So I think I'm going to start doing, I'm probably going to do two or three unboxings on my second channel, Banana Peppers. So if you love unboxings, make sure you subscribe to that channel as well. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr or Instagram at Graveyard Girl. Same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!